In this video, we'll figure out whether FeSO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So this is iron to sulfate. So to figure that out, we need to look at the equation that produces the iron to sulfate. We're going to look at the neutralization reaction that produces the iron to sulfate. That's the salt and the water here. So if we have iron to hydroxide and we add that to sulfuric acid here, that'll give us our iron to sulfate. So we know the chemicals we're dealing with, and now we need to figure out the strength of each one of these substances. A good way to do that is to use this table here. So we look at the table. This is a good one to memorize. And we're going to look for iron to hydroxide here. And we don't see it over here. So if it's not on our list of strong bases, that means it's a weak base. Let's write WB. It's got this hydroxide group, so it's a base, but it's not a strong base. H2SO4, that's right here. That is a strong acid. So we're going to write SA up here for strong acid. Now we can use the rules. So when we have salts of strong bases and strong acids, we'll have a neutral pH. But we have a weak base here. So we have a weak base and then a strong acid. That means when this iron 2 sulfate, this FeSO4, it dissolves in water, the pH will be less than 7, and it will be acetic, according to our rules. So in answer to the question, if we dissolve FeSO4 in water, the solution will be acetic. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.